Welcome back everyone, we're out in the beautiful Mount Crawford Forest and in this video I'm going to show you how to reverse sear a steak in a Weber Go Anywhere. So to get started we'll take it out of the carry bag, then we just want to unclip the legs, then we can grab it by the side handles and stand it up, then we just want to lock our legs in place. Alright now what we can do is take our lid off, then our cooking grate, then we can stack some briquettes up on one side, and I'll just do one row through the middle. Then I'm just going to bury a fire lighter in there and light it up. All right, and after about 10 minutes, our fire light is burnt out. Our briquettes have caught light nicely. So we'll get our lid on, open up both of our top vents and both of our bottom ones. All right, so we're just going to give our Weber Go Anywhere five minutes to preheat. While that's happening, we're going to get our steak seasoned up. We're working with a beautiful Scotch fillet we picked up from Austral Meat. It's about an inch and a half thick, and we're just going to season it up in our steak shooter rub. And we've also got some smoking wood ready. I'm using a nice little chunk of cherry from Natural Smoke, but if you've got another favourite smoking wood, feel free to use that. So we'll give our Weber Go Anywhere a few more minutes to preheat, then we'll come back to get this steak on. All right, so we are ready to get this steak on. I'm just going to lay a foil tray down below where our steak's going to be sitting. Then we'll put our cooking grate on. We'll put our smoking wood straight over the top where the fire's burning. We'll get our steak over the opposite side to the fire. Then we'll shut our lid. And now for the important part, when you're using a reverse sear setup, we're going to close the vent above the fire. We're going to leave the vent above the steak open and with our bottom vent we're going to leave the side underneath the fire open and we're going to close the side underneath the steak. And we're going to do that on both sides. So now our airflow is going to come through this bottom vent here. It's going to be fueling our fire. It's not going to be coming out of that top vent because it's closed and then it's going to be coming right through our steak and out this top vent here. So I'm going to look to hold our Webigo anywhere around the 275 Fahrenheit or 135 Celsius range. And like most other barbecues, if I need to increase my temperature, I'll open up our vents a little bit. If I need to decrease, I'll shut them down a little bit. And we're going to take our steak until it reaches an internal temperature of around 125 degrees Fahrenheit or 52 degrees Celsius. So we're going to let our steak go now. While that's happening, we're going to make a quick and easy chimichurri to go with it. All right, so we've got five cloves of garlic, one red chili, and about half a cup of parsley. What we want to do is just start by chopping all of this up nice and fine. You want to de-seed your chili first. All right, now I forgot a bowl, but I've got my Yeti stubby holder here. So we're just going to get all of that and get it into our stubby cooler. And into that, we're going to go about half a cup of olive oil, a few tablespoons of red wine vinegar, and you can either season it with salt and pepper, but we're just going to put in a little bit of our garlic goals. Then we'll give it a good mix. Then you can have a taste, make sure you're happy with the consistency, make any adjustments you need, and then you can put that aside and it's ready for later on. All right, and after about 40 minutes, we've hit our target internal in our steak. So what we can do now is get our steak out. We'll get it in a tray to rest. We can get rid of our smoking wood and we just want to leave our lid off for the 10 minutes we're resting our steak so these coals can get nice and hot for a sear. All right, so our steak's had a nice 10 minute rest. Our coals are nice and hot. I've just spread them out a little bit. Now we're just going to finish this steak off by giving it a sear for about 60 to 90 seconds per side. All right, now we'll give it a flip. That is looking beautiful. All right, now we can get this off and onto our cutting board. All right, now it's time to slice and serve. Now we can top it with some of that beautiful chimichurri. And now we can taste. So there you have it, how to reverse sear a steak in a Weber Go Anywhere. You don't need any accessories to do it, but if you do want some accessories, I'll put a link for everything we've used and where to get accessories down in the description below. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of this steak. Make sure you've subscribed to our channel so you don't miss our next videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.